One of the area's hardest hit was between Washington and Walton counties. The Choctahatchee River cresting at a major flood height. Residents along the river say it's been a scary couple of days for many. There is relief, though. News 13's Erica Orstad experienced the river with a front row seat. I'm on the Choctahatchee River where the water is now 13 feet above where it normally is. And while this is considered a significant flooding event here, residents who live along this area of the river say they were prepared for much worse. That's willow trees and you're up in the middle to the top of the willow trees. Ron Hardy is one of those Riverside residents. He says this is the second worst flood he's seen in 20 years, but that they were expecting worse. We're now ready for 23 feet. Just glad we didn't have to prove it. He says living on the river requires flood planning and intense preparation. His wife Catherine says that can be a daunting process. To watch this river rise like for the last two days and not knowing what to expect, you're, you're unsure and it's a very scary situation. But neighbors come together to help each other. People just working and scrambling us all working together trying to get each other ready for it. You just have to be prepared. To, to survive it. Both say they believe everyone has survived, getting away with minor damage, although they've heard spots along neighboring creeks are worse off. According to the rumors, there's quite a few folks in lower places that, that had significant damage. But he says flooding like this is part of river life. If you're going to live in this paradise, you got to know hurricanes, and if you're going to live on a river, you best know the floods. While this flooding event did not reach the forecasted crest, residents here say they learned something new from every flood. This time, that lesson was to have a moving truck ready to be able to move personal belongings to safety as quickly as possible. On the Choctahatchee, I'm Erica Orstadt, News 13, Panhandle Strong.